Hi, Wood. Chatty Dad One here coming at you today. Here's a couple pictures of the eclipse, the uh, Ring of Fire eclipse. I want to talk about something that's important to me that I have seen that's disturbed me greatly, and that's the Anunnaki deception. We're going to talk about Sumerian false gods and artifacts. And I want you to go to this site, SitchinIsWrong.com. This is Mike Heiser, um, his site, his website. He is a... Uh, He um, devoted this website to address the claims of the ancient astronaut hypothesis popularized in the writings of Zacharias Sitchin. And um, he does this himself. You know, he says he's compelled to do it, just like I'm compelled to do this video. There's a lot of people that's um, jumping on the bandwagon of the Anunnaki and and that they spliced the DNA of people with the apes I guess and made a working man <clears throat> to uh, mine the gold for them. Well this is wrong. They might be the uh, oldest civilization that they found yet but it doesn't mean that they're correct in these few tablets that they found, all of a sudden there's a whole new thing here. I mean, come on, where's this coming from? But he's got this, uh, he says, done this video called Ancient Aliens Debunked. And in it, he goes through and shows you where they've totally gotten things wrong. And they, it's all coming from Zachariah Sitchin, okay? Danaki quotes Sitchin and other people quote Danaki and they're all coming from Sitchin. It all comes from Zachariah Sitchin and his work. Okay. There's a reason that Zachariah Sitchin his work didn't get popular till he was an old man. That's because he didn't go on this bandwagon. He didn't jump on this bandwagon until later on in his life. He wanted to be successful. And he he, he was. He was successful and he was and he's a known man now and his name will live on. But he's wrong. And this goes through and shows you that they didn't need uh spaceship tools and lasers to make Puma Punku and these other the pyramids and stuff like that they did it with regular tools and they used sand and um, other blocks of stone to sand the granite I mean you go through you'll see check it out give it the the attention it deserves give it as much as you gave ancient aliens and then ask yourself, why History Channel, who do they promote? Do they promote the truth? I know that they've stepped all over the Bible and Christianity. I know that they're on the bandwagon with, um, with the whole man coming from apes thing. I know they're on board with that. Ask yourself who they're really for. Are they for Jesus Christ or for the evils of this world, the deceptions of this world? You'll find your answer pretty soon. And then pray about this stuff. Ask Heavenly Father about this stuff in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ. If that stuff is true, you'll know the truth. You'll feel the truth. Now here's a picture of uh, supposed to be a Sumerian god. Um, supposed to be uh, Zechariah Sitchin. He's supposed to be an Anunnaki. He's got a cone in one hand, pollinating a flower, and here's a bucket of pollen in the other hand. 
you know, I'm not saying that I don't believe in UFOs. I don't believe in extraterrestrials. I know God could have created life anywhere. Anywhere. I don't think it's only on this earth. And they could be far advanced more than we are. They could be later on in their stage of uh, advancement. I mean, you know, why don't they show this on Ancient Aliens? The dudes with the fish suit on. They don't show all these pictures on Ancient Aliens. Because it doesn't jive with what they're wanting to show you. I mean, look at this. This movie Prometheus. It pushes the Ancient Aliens theme. Look at this. Y'all, please don't fall for this. Because it's not true. This isn't what happened. Okay? The Sumerians did not splice our DNA and create Adam, a worker. That was not the case. That's wrong. Now this stuff's just come out in the last 20 years, even 10 years. Well, probably maybe more like 20 years. Why wasn't this stuff known thousands of years ago? You know what was known? The Bible. The books that's in the Dead Sea Scroll that are the same books that are in the Bible match up. That means they didn't change it. Here's another Sumerian God. Here's another one. Now, there's a common theme in all these. These are Egyptian gods. There's a common theme here. This one has wings. This one has a, a, a panther's head. This one has a friggin' bird's head. This one has a wolf's head. A jackal's head. Okay, there's a common theme there. I just now saw this when I was doing this research that these Anunnaki have the same kind of stuff with their gods as the Egyptians do. The same kind of stuff as the Mayans do. <clears throat> the same as the Incas do. See, this guy's got a crocodile head. This is my savior. My Lord God, Savior and King with the Father. He would have said something when he lived here on the earth 2,000 years ago. He would have said something about that being the truth or something. He would have said something. I know everybody's faith gets weak. We all need a hand up to be helped up. And he's there for us. He does miracles. I don't see miracles being written about in the Sumerians, in the Anunnaki. Them, uh, you know, I don't read about all these miracles that went on there. There's a strong theme here, a theme of good, a theme of miracles, a theme of helping people, not enslaving them, not making them work, or fearing them. I know there's some websites right now that are uh, saying that the true God of the Bible um, is not. Elohim is not Yahweh. I can't, it's something close to that, but I can't remember what it was. I know there's popular websites that tell you that our DNA is spliced with, with, with sheep and goats and Satan and these sons of God came down and slept with the daughters of men and created giants and that were great on the earth and 
you know, it doesn't mean, because it says sons of God, doesn't mean that they were Anunnaki and that they came down from heaven. We are sons of God. Those of us who have taken upon us the covenant and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are sons of God. We are great in knowledge and wisdom. Don't get on this bandwagon, y'all. It's wrong. It's deception. It pulls you away from Jesus Christ and the truth to believing in aliens and throwing God right out the window. Or it throws the God that we know and love right out the window. The Sumerian gods didn't turn water into wine, didn't heal the sick, didn't do these things. Jesus Christ did. Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. I'm sorry, 12 apostles while he was here. Set apart 12 to take over for him when he was gone. He calmed the waters. He didn't need a spacecraft to ascend into heaven, did he? He didn't need a UFO coming and picking him up, taking off. No, he ascended into heaven with his body. He just went up in the sky. He's way more powerful than these guys. These guys aren't even real. Same thing with the Sumerian gods. They're not even real. If you don't see a same theme here, the Egyptians, the Sumerians, the Aztecs, the Incas, then I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you. Because, I'm sorry, this is not a god to me. It's not mine. Ancient aliens, you can have it for yours if you want it, but it ain't mine. Neither is this one. But I guess because they found it, and it, because it's 50,000 years old, that means, oh my goodness, it's a god. That must be what it is. Look at this guy. He's a friggin' mummy. <laughs> it's a mummy. An Egyptian mummy. You know? This guy's, uh, green. This guy's green. These guys are big and strong. Look, their women are, are all skinny and healthy and dudes are all buff and come on there's a theme here you guys with all their gods and false idols and images and what the Incas and the Aztecs had these are the same things I I hope that you see that Don't jump on that bandwagon and abandon God, abandon Christ, and say that the Bible was written by Satan. Because that's what some are saying now that used to claim to be Christians. They used to claim that they're out there uh, promoting the Word. Now they're saying the Bible was written by Satan? My goodness. It's not the same, y'all. This is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He would have told us. He would have told us. This is who I choose to believe and worship. And I'm so thankful for what He did for us, the atonement He made for us all. To wash my sins away that I can get on my knees and ask forgiveness and repent of my sins and I can be washed clean and have a clean conscience I'm so thankful for that but please y'all don't jump on the, the bandwagon of the Anunnaki deception do your research check it out the Anunnaki gods they didn't set apart twelve apostles to take over when they left did they 
they didn't wash their um, disciples feet did they Jesus Christ performed miracles I don't see that being the theme with the Anunnaki's the Incas, the Aztecs, the Egyptians we all know what happened to that anyway I just wanted to do this video don't abandon the truth for a deception because ancient aliens says it's true because Zachariah Sitchin says it's so because he's wrong it's wrong pray about it think about it research it it's wrong I hope everybody's well I love you guys I, if I didn't I wouldn't do this I care about you don't go to the other team this late in the game I've already gone through too much I hope everybody's doing well I pray that God will help us all and bless us all. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, and when, and how you can. And never give up your guns, because your rights go right along with them. And do what's right. Stand up for truth. And always choose the right. Not always easy, but it's right. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.